You wear the number five. Is that a little bit of a, bit of an omen for the amount of receiving touchdowns you had tonight? Pretty nice game, man. Oh, uh, no, not an omen at all. <laughs> they wanted me to, somebody had to step up. Somebody had to step up, and I guess it was my turn. Right. Was that something you and EJ talked about? Because it seemed like Oderic was kind of getting a shutdown based on what he did against Erie last time. There's a lot of attention on him. Was it kind of a pregame talk about maybe focusing on you a little bit more? Uh, we, we knew pretty much that they was going to try to take something away. And once you try to take something away in this offense, something else is going to open up. And, and that's, it, it basically showed tonight. That's exactly what happened. Right. Take me through that kickoff return, man. It seems like you pretty much just found that lane and just went. Um, that's well. Uh, coach, coach and I talked about that, you know, and I, I've been telling them, you know, that's that's kind of what I specialize I'm sorry, in. Man. So I like doing kickoff returns and everything, and he just gave me the opportunity to do it. And I'm just happy for that. Right. It's a first-year team. There's so many rookies on this team. Did you guys realistically expect to be where you're at right now? Um, you know, we, EJ is a great leader. You know, and sometimes they say when well, you have great leaders, others are good followers. So we got a team of good, a good leader and, and good followers, and that, and that's what this team is, is building into such a great family. All right. What did it mean to beat Erie? Obviously, you guys don't really like each other that much. To beat them in such a big game, too. What did that mean? It meant, it meant a whole lot, actually, because the last game, you know, it, it left a sour taste in our mouths, and we really wanted to come out and dominate in this game, and it, it showed. That's exactly what we did. We dominated.